maybe finally knows this. Column strength greater than the beam strength. Agreed. I explained. Right? Another one is my assumption is slightly more. Previously I am talking about the column strength is greater than the beam strength. Now I coming to the joint strength. Joint means it's the column as well as the beam. These two strength, joint strength is greater than the column strength. The joint is some portion, column is this in between. So still not defined where, up to which depth is considered the joint, still no, not an issue. Then my strategy is strongest joint, strongest joint, strong column, weak beam design. Weak beam design. My assumption and methodology is okay. How I can proceed? That is a another question mark. Now it's a strongest joint, strong column. Big B. Now I want to say my acknowledgements to sincere acknowledgement to one of my MTech research scholar, uh, Straya Salagundi. He did a lot of work in this area regarding that strong joint, strong column, big B design. Now I come to the anatomy of uh, beam column joint, exterior beam column joint, interior beam column joint. We have this huge force combination here, right? We can single um, beam column joint. For example, exterior beam column joint. I told you, you know, moment is there, tension is there, compression is there. In case of forward cycle, tension here, compression here, reverse cycle, here compression, here tension, then shear, horizontal shear, then vertical shear, horizontal shear, vertical shear. The lot of things involving here. Suppose interior beam column joined into two, right? Equivalent here. So these are the force acting the beam column joined. So what I'm trying to telling means here. This is the complicated one. For example, you take the simple the same beam. How you can say the bending moment meets point W L square by eight? This is a proved mathematical model. This is one of the way to calculate the what is the maximum bending moment mid span of that beam. Similarly, different way is there. You can calculate the same bending moment using finite moment modeling. Finite moment methods, finite difference method, residual, weighted residual method, another approximate method. You can calculate the what is the bending moment by experimentally also. Fine or not? Fine. You can calculate n number of ways there. Similarly, the beam column joint, even so, even though it's a very tough, different people did the different methodology. They calculated what is the load carrying capacity of beam column joint. Some people take some parameters. Some people may not be taken that parameter. Some people take the very important parameter only. They like that. Right? You can calculate what is the bending moment of simply supported beam with the. Uh, um, what do you call um, polynomial equation? You know that using the polynomial equation, you can calculate the what is the bending moment at mid span. That is one of the method. That is the approximate method. Approximate method. Similarly, different the researchers they found that uh, column shear, then torsional shear, then shear strength, then bending moment, and all different authors like Sivar, Murthy, Uma, and other members, different members did the different and in addition to that different country have the different code to calculate the what is the shear joint shear in that junction of the beam column joint so we have that lot of complexity in that beam column joint for this we go for that an important technique nowadays all people using that muscle learning muscle learning Machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. Now, BTEC is there now, which provides the machines to ability to learn the automatically and to improve from the experience without being explicitly programmed. So, how that? How I know this? Uh, this is uh, wristwatch. How you know? This is wristwatch. Simple.
No, tell me. What logic? How you know this is his story? Yes? Huh? Okay, next step. Then, go back. Now you know, sir. I am starting then. It's called as a risk towards. Okay. When you know this? Since, sir? No time is starts. Okay. Then. Next. Sir. That only one event. You are understand this is a risk towards? Inventor name. Inventor name. Or your father, mother, sister, brother, all are wearing. You can see. Right? Right? Then, from this childhood itself, you see in this. So, you, your mind is told this is the wristwatch. Right? Wristwatch. Similarly, so in future, another 10 years, somebody is showing this is means, you immediately tell this is wristwatch. It's right. How? Because of previous experience. Previous experience. What we learn from the childhood itself. That it's reflect to find what is this. Right? So, this is the concept here. We have come to this know, this is just watch with respect to our brain. It's go back and compare. Oh, some my friend is wearing the fast track. My friend is wearing the police. Some person is wearing the titan. <coughs> like that we can compare, no? So, you come to your mind, this is a just watch. It's right. Similarly, want to train the machine, want to train the machine, which means computer or whatever it may be, that what we think, similarly, the computer and the think, that say, this is a wristwatch. Like that. This is the background of machine learning. We can easily understand now its right. Then, the key characteristics of machine learning is the concept of self-learning. self learning self Learning, this is refers to the application of statistical modeling to direct the patterns and improve the performance based on the data, empirical information, all without direct programming commands. For example, uh, in computer now, 2 into 2 equal to 4, right? This is one way. So, we give the input, we can get the output. That is a command based. Right? Input, uh, command you give this computer, you can get that output. Right? Here, what is a machine learning here means, I am able to give exactly what is the true. I will give one person, it is uh, moving from Chennai to this place to Chennai airport with uh, two bags. Another person is moves from Tandalam to Chennai airport with the two bags. So, what is the total weight or some logic? So, he may be reached here. So, in addition to that, I do not want to give only the two person is carrying here, I can give the more information. His weight is 65 kg. His weight is 50 kg Taj Mahal. Then, he carrying the two bags, weight of each bag 10 kg. This is each bag 5 kg, right? It may be tall, it may be stout, n number of things is given. So, you give the more input. What is that? More input regarding that variable. So, if you feel the input come to one logic, one set. This is one set, this is another set. Then you can multiply and add, then divide, and here and there, and everything is possible. So, you give the input data to the system, input data, then it's learn, it's learn, it's may be human or may not be human, you have the two bags or three bags, what is the maximum kg, what is the minimum kg, is carrying and everything is calculated, that is a learning, then it gives the output, it is called as a difference between command and machine learning, machine learning means it gives the input data, so learn is give the result. Right. So, another one is simple now, you can type any, for example, uh, my pen in the Google. It is showing no image. How it is showing image? What is the background? 
I will show you the image here. Pen. Just to type in a pen. Right? So, these are all the data, numerical data you can analyze. Similarly, n number of images stored in the server. So, you can type in the pencil, can attract. So, pencil means it may be length in nature, have the diameter or square, its ballpoint pen or different pen, its compare. Like this, it gives the result. So, this area, what is the machine learning? This area is machine learning. That is the applicable. So, you know that what is the command? What is the input? What is the difference between calculator and the machine learning? It's right. Now, the machine learning, you know that this is the basics. Thanks for Google. I am not doubting this. First one is a deep learning, machine learning, artificial intelligence, data science, computer science. You know that where we are. Right? Computer science, data science, AI, machine learning, deep learning. So, application is a plenty. Application is a plenty. You may be design signal in uh, uh, for engineer for design the signal, we have the data. How many vehicles is crossed a particular hour, particular minute? We can take. So you can design. What is the previous data? What is the forecasting data? So after 20 years, what is my width of the road? What is the signal I want to follow? Everything you can plan it, right? So this they have the data science. Then from the artificial intelligence, machine learning. Deep learning. These are the some terminology. So now you know that you can see this kind of graph itself. Right? The statistical tool you can link to this one or two variables. For example, you can give that y equal to mx plus c. Y equal to mx plus c. What is the equation? Equation of straight line. Right? What is the m? Slope. M is slope. X C you know that y. From this so, why, how you can make it this y equal to mx plus c is, is maybe curved also possible. For example, how we can get this equation? How we can get? For example, this is graph. I have n number of points here and here and there like this. Right? I, am, I can get this data here also. This is also, you can join this line, I can get straight line. Here also I can get straight line. Then I can get the straight line here, average of both. That is a good. So, how we know that? So, which these two variable where it is co coincidence with high. So, that is a good result. Similar, this is only two. This is only two variable, x and y only. Think about beam column joint. I told you, you know, n number of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, using this tool also, we can solve this problem. But, but, the Results gives an approximator. Right? I want to target that speaker now. That is exactly like target in the center of the speaker. It's good. So I target the speaker means the bottom also, that also speaker is right. Top also speaker. Target is correct. What is the minute and exact target? That is a different. So that's why we go for some good method or a very strong method to get that result. So these are the some Machine learning technology already available, it is not a new, then it is an advanced level, that is all. Then, uh, this is maybe some tips for our uh, BTEC uh, friends. The new terminologies to understand the artificial neural network, I will come into that another uh, area, artificial neural network, in a neural network. One is a labeled data, another one is an algorithm, hyperparameters, then a labeled data means it means what kind of inputs are given and what expected data should be output and not in any random value or number to given input output without specifying it. What is the labeled data means? So I will give this, I take this beam, I will the uniformly distributed load in the beam. Finally, what I want to know, I know that. What I want to, I know. Either I need many moment. Or shear force, that I know. Right? What is the input? What is the output? Expected output, I know that. That is called as labeled data. It's not means unlabeled data. For example, then pond, labeled data. Then river, unlabeled data. 
it's aimless. Right? Like a contour also, no? Open traverse, close traverse, and survey, like that. Then no need to explain algorithm. Then small terminology. Here some, something is required. This is in the deep uh, machine learning categories. One is a supervised learning, unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning. So the supervised learning is the method in which we teach the machines using the labeled data. I already told you, you know, labeled data. I know that what is input, what output I am expect, expect from that. Then unsupervised data. This is like our two years back we have experienced now online classes, right? Uh, that is unsupervised learning. The unsupervised learning, the machine is trained on this unlabeled data without any guidance. No guidance, nothing is there, we we'll do it. The reinforcement learning, the reinforcement learning and the agent interacts with its environment by the producing actions and discovers errors of errors. Like now, I give my car my son. I cannot give immediate hits, right? I'll teach one or two years. He learn. He sitting. Okay. After that, I give this small distance. Down like this. Right, left, then, like this. See, learn. So, this is called as reinforcement learning. Some guide is there. For that, in case of our email also, no? We send email. You can get the back. Email send on it. Simple WhatsApp. One tick means you send only. One more blue tick means reach it. That is called as reinforced learning. One guy is assessing to you where I am. Like the, here also we put now for calculation of uh, Benny moment or shape force, I put one more member to what he is doing. Like this. Okay? Simply you can tell the spy. That is the reinforced learning. Then, types of problem. Regression, you know that? Regression analysis. Right? Regression analysis. Then, uh, associations. Then these are the problems we can using that uh, reinforcement learning, answer supervised learning, supervised learning. Then uh, in supervised learning we can get forecast the outcomes we can find. Then unsupervised learning discovers <coughs> underlying patterns, learn series of actions here and there movement like this. The approaches is map labeled input to known output. Map labeled input with known output. We know that. Suppose I take the beam column joint. So I know the bending moment, shape force, what, etc, etc. What I finally need means what is the maximum shear stress in that joint. Once I know the shear stress, I know the cross sectional area. I can calculate what is the shear force, how can I tackle the shear force. What is that demand to design the structure? That is a possible. So, the labeled data input is known to known output. Then, under, uh, um, then unsupervised learning, no, understand the pattern and discover output. What is output really? Expected output. What is the prediction time to reach the airport? This kind of things, unsupervised learning. Supervised learning within that conditions. For example, we can use this reinforced learning also. For example, I can easily link with that. Anybody have that, uh, any experience in the finite domain modeling or not? FEM. I think slightly touch as per your curriculum is correct. Or you have a course? Tell me. No. Right? So, every problem you can solve with some boundary conditions. Right? Already studied mathematics. Right? Boundary value problems. String. Yes? Plate. Again, problem it's right. This is within that, within that boundary only it will work. It will be work. That is called as reinforcement learning. Suppose you go for the thermal problem, thermal problem or cloud movements. Clouds move one place to another. It's different. Cloud is different. My Mangalore is different. So, within that area, how it's work. That is the boundary. And for this, you can go for the reinforcement learning. Then, uh, popular algorithms, you can have that linear regression analysis, uh, uh, regression, logistic regression analysis, SVM, KNN, ANN, decision tree, random forest. So, these two areas, we are, we are working in this area also. 
decision tree random forest algorithm then palamel also we are using at present these are the advanced machine learning algorithm we are using here sarsa also is good q learning and all then why why what where when this is need for solutions right why why is pull to address the problems where solutions has not clearly formulated we can take the code and indian code arabian code australian code and other country code then some code is referred it's good but some code is referred uh, uh, developed the formula with three or four variable some codes developed with more than three some 10 6 uh, then and also what is the problem means some code is still we are using the empirical formula empirical from that is good somewhat it's fine i am not against to the empirical formula still we need to find the exact mathematical model of the formula calculate the some stresses using the because we are using this formula for design the member does not re rely on the uh, uh, pre conservated theory designing this mechanism yes i told you know snow theory is background it's not available to design the beam column joint useful where the relationship between the input and outputs are not sufficiently known what is known is input output and all superior than statistical based regression model is captures non linear non linearity in the problems and makes these predictions accurate so we have some fraction method is not an issue but is not with the exact results then computational error will be less and accurate output can be observed we need for that we need this ann then ann modeling is not explored much in this area beam column joint proposed to study can motivate the research to explore this area so very less people did this work in this area using artificial neural network to predict the beam column joint so now i know the problem now i know that one tool that is called as artificial neural network how i can go there that is called as a methodology what kind of methodology i want to do first one is construction of experimental database i already told you know that this is how i know that this is just watch with the previous experience previous data i compare i know this is the rest watch similarly how the machine knows this is a beam column joint we only give the input including answer including answer what is that superficial learning we know that what is that output what is the input right so we need the better database better database sometimes it confusing also it's right so long database project on this right so you create the database with the good quality of database good quality of database for example i want to take average one reading is a for example compressive strength of uh, concrete cube m20 one cube result is 18 newton per mm square another cube is 26 another cube is 25 another cube is 28 so how i can take the average i take a four four average all this add put it divided by 